Welcome back. I'm Mohammed Bey. Welcome to Season 3 of the Trade Brokers Diaries. Recently, I got an email from one of the viewers of the Trade Brokers Diaries, a Pat Eng, asking about how they could deal with businesses that they have never dealt with before, how to avoid pitfalls, and how to avoid a very common problem. A lot of people want to do business with companies around the world. In some cases, they even have the money to go out and visit these companies. But even though they go and visit in person, they still fail to meet certain benchmarks in the process of determining whether or not a company is suitable to do business with, and they tend to miss the mark sometime, often with very negative results. Now, Pat sent me an email. It's very long, so I'm not going to read it all here. I'm going to put it in the description box here on YouTube, and you can read all the details for yourself. The long and short of it is simple. The company didn't uh, complete the transaction. That is, they went out, they saw the company, they wanted to do business, in this case, buying meat for a, a third party. They uh, had their contracts, they sent their money, and not surprisingly, at the last minute, at the 11th hour, uh, the company was unable to conclude the deal, and they had what were, for these people, very fishy excuses as to why they didn't complete the transaction. It's not the sort of excuse you would get from someone who, say, ran a corner store near where you live, or someone who ran uh, an office or a business in a mall where you could go and find them. It's usually the kind of excuse that you get from people halfway around the world, something that's uh, uh, hard to deal with uh, because of the great distances. So I want you to read the letter, and I want you to listen to the response that I'm giving them here in this video about due diligence, about what I consider to be a more thorough due diligence, because if you're not going to really engage in some considerable research before you do business, you're going to wind up spending a lot of money and having a lot of headaches. So give a listen to what I have to say here. Let's take a look. It is not easy for a foreigner to work directly with a qualified factory in China due to language, cultural, and MOQ barriers. There are lots of fake factories online. 90% of suppliers you meet online or at local trade fairs might be a typical trade company in China, but you're never aware of it. The reason is very simple. On the one hand, more than 50% of real factories still do not have their own export licenses in China. On the other hand, there are not enough good English-speaking staff working with small and mid-scale factories in China. According to some government estimates, up to 96% of suppliers that were verified turned out to be trade companies in China, but online they pretended to be the real factory and the client was unable to tell until it was too late. A good one-stop purchasing agent service can not only reduce your risks of doing business in China, but they can also save you lots of time, costs, and energy in sourcing, quality control, after-sales services, and verification. A well-qualified purchasing agent can act as your own office, act as your assistant and your eyes and ears on the ground in China. They can also solve all the issues regarding your import. They may help you smooth every step in the following aspects in doing business in China, such as sourcing new suppliers, after-sales servicing support, supplier verification and auditing, price negotiation, management of suppliers, delivery support, otherwise known as logistics, formal contact and documentation support, quality control, and other services may also be available upon request. A good purchasing agent service can benefit you much more in the following two ways. A trade company will protect their own interests at any time during the business in China. 
they will not allow the clients to buy directly from their own verified factories. They will buy, close quote, from the factories and add their own profit. Then resell the products to the clients worldwide. The profit of the trade companies is normally 10 to 50 percent against the invoice value in China. This varies with the product, of course. While a purchasing service will act simply as your own assistance or eyes and ears on the ground in China, the service in some cases will protect the customer's interests from the beginning to the end during any business transactions in China. All the service charges should be fixed, and the commissions for the agents and the services that they provide should usually be around 5%. This should also be negotiable if it's any higher. All the service charges are fixed and transparent, and the commission for the agent's services should be no more than 5 to 10 percent. This should be negotiable if it's any higher. In most cases, they'll only charge a small amount for service fees, and this is always on a case-by-case -case basis. Apparently, a customer like yourself or your client can profit more buying directly from a qualified factory sourced by the company that you choose to work with in China. The client is free to contact the factories for any questions related to the product, however, or the company that you do business with should be able to get the answers that you submit in the form of questions, or the company that you choose should be able to submit questions to the factory in your behalf and get you direct answers. Secondly, trade companies normally do not have their own team of, say, quality control inspectors, lawyers, factory auditors, this sort of thing. You will need to find a company that has its own professional team of such individuals to handle these issues for you on the ground in China or any other country for that matter. Some firms will be able to offer better one-stop business solutions than others. Be sure to shop around. If you're still working with a trade company, I would suggest that you look around and try to find a purchasing agent service company in China or an international firm that does business in China. One thing to consider when choosing the right agent for China ask them for at least three references from your country or your area of the world. Check them out for any uh, issues, problems, lawsuits, or any problems related to cooperation. Check them out before you do any business with these people. Ask them for their own business license and export license in China if this is the country you're doing business in. Check them out with local officials or third-party verification services before you do any business with them. Ask them enough professional questions regarding uh, the coming orders in China. If they are able to satisfy your questions and your concerns before you put your name on the dotted line, then this is the kind of company that you want to do business with. Then you can feel assured that working with this company will be a good experience. Please bear in mind that better than 99% of Chinese businessmen are honest and reliable and care about their reputation. As you can tell from my comments here, I believe that it's best to be as thorough as physically possible. Doing trade internationally is very difficult. It's not a one-on-one -on -one game. You have to have a team. If you don't have the money to hire people in your office, it is best to hire a firm that specializes in the kind of service that you need to be your eyes and ears on the ground. Let them do the hard work, invest uh, the money and the time in find a finding a company that will do the kind of due diligence you need done in order to make it clear that you're the kind of business that they want to do business with. There's no shame and no dishonor in having a middleman conduct all the uh, hard work 
do all the dirty work, get down in the canal in the mud and do all the digging while you stay in your office. If you have the time and the money, invest in a good company. There are many new firms, many old firms that are specializing in doing business not only in China but in other parts of the world. You need to find these companies. Some of them will be listed at the end of uh, this video or in the description and you can make, uh, make good use of them and it will cost you less to have one of these companies than to try and go it alone. Write me. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to hear from you. Always happy to try and answer your questions on video. As usual, my email address is right here. And again, for all of you YouTube and other video sharing service users, please always comment, rate, and subscribe to our videos. And don't forget to visit the Trade Brokers Diaries blog where you can get updated, regular, daily news about international trade from around the world. That's all for now. I'm your host, Mohammed Bey. Thanks for coming to our website. Thanks for watching this video. And take care. This program is sponsored by Multipure Water Purification Systems. Multipure Water Purifiers for Home and Business. Multipure believes that one of the best ways to improve your health and the health of your family is to improve the quality of your drinking water. Visit our sponsor's website for more details. And by the International Import-Export Service Directory, containing hundreds of listings you can use to find products and services for your business. Follow the link to our website for more details. Thanks for visiting our website. Take care.